With the most recent year's data, what we see is that after a couple of catch-up years in 2012, 2011, which were close to 10% increases in R&D spending, uh, it was just about 6%. So we're back to the long-term trend growth. And I think it just reflects that uh, most companies, no matter what region they're from and no matter what industry they're in, view R&D and commitment to innovation as, ta as a long-term requirement. Globally, by region, by industry, it's a sustained commitment to innovation. North American-based companies uh, grew faster than average, you know, slightly over 8%. Uh, Europe grew, but you know, less than average, and Japan actually declined. The growth in China was still, you know, spectacular on the order of 35%, and it just reflects the increasing number of, you know, Chinese companies that are of global significance, both in terms of their revenues, but also in terms of their R&D and innovation expenditure. The big three industries in terms of total expenditures continue to be computer electronics, health, and automotive. Those three industries together represent about two-thirds of all the spend. The fastest growing, uh, not surprisingly, the software internet had the highest growth followed by uh, the telecom industry. Probably the most important thing that goes back to the themes we've had for the, nearly the last decade as we've been doing this work, you know, funding is important, but it's secondary to how you spend the money you have. It's, you know, the processes you use, the practices, the talent. As a group, uh, those rated the 10 most innovative companies in the world consistently outperform in terms of revenue growth, uh, EBITDA growth in terms of profitability, and market cap growth. Um, and they do it you know, year in, year out over sustained periods of time. And so it's not about how much money you spend.